Hello everybody, and today we are going to play Inertial Drift. This game is obviously inspired by the popular anime, and one of my favorite animes, Initial D. It's a drifting game. Uh, let's put that in English. Gunner. Ah, new face. Let me guess. You want to learn how to drift? Yeah, I want to learn how to drift. I'm sure you're familiar with the basic steering, throttle, brakes. Those are all important, but if you want to master the cars here, then you'll need one more thing. The drift stick. Alright. With the drift stick, you can directly control your car's drift angle, allowing for precise cornering. You know, it probably makes more sense to show you. Come with me. Oh, and don't worry about crashing into each other. All cars have phase shift impact prevention systems fitted, so you can just focus on your line. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's go. Alright. Wow. I love the graphics. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, the right stick controls. Ah. Oh, okay. Alright, I think I'm starting to get it. <laughs> I just got to achieve it. Oh, I get it. Ah. Okay, I think that was pretty horrible. Not bad for your first run. A few more laps and you'll have the basics down. This is only the beginning though. Every car is different and requires its own special techniques. There's a lot to learn, so get out there, absorb everything you can, and find the style that fits you best. Alright. That is inertial drift. That's the, pretty much the feel. As you can see, it is basically a retro 90s kind of feeling to it. It's like a futuristic 90s vibe, which I really like. I really did the aesthetic of this game. Now. I pretty much discovered this game. Uh, I was watching YouTube. I was watching a YouTube video, and the advertiser for this game pretty much popped up, and I was already like stoked. I was like, "Wow, this game looks absolutely awesome." Initially, I wanted to buy this for the Switch, but I want to also record and edit videos on this game. I don't know if this video is gonna do well. I don't know if it's gonna do great. But if this video does great, like let's say uh, this video gets three likes, four likes, I will post another video on this on this fantastic, awesome game. This game cost me about seventeen dollars on the PlayStation Store. You can only buy it digitally. I don't know if you can buy a physical copy. But this game seems really, really cool. For twenty bucks, what could go wrong for twenty bucks, right? So let's go into the story mode. New game. Yeah, man, this is like neon cyberpunkish. Well, not really cyberpunkish. Okay, Ada. I got the drinks. So it was iced coffee for Iba. Nice, thanks, Ada. Peach iced tea for Viv, right? Of course. Obviously the one and only contender for nice drinks. I don't know why I read it in that, that tone. But not of tea. My green tea wins hands down, hot or cold. Which leaves the milk for Edward. Ah, that hits the spot. Cheers, Ada. So folks, are we driving this evening or what? I'm not sure if I have the time tonight. Sorry, Edward. Oh, come on. We haven't been out in ages. Yeah, but we're all kind of busy at the moment. The Summer Grand Prix is coming up soon, so I really need to focus on practice. I can't wait to see you race this year, Viv. You're going to win, right? No one else is as fast as you. Ha! <laughs> I'll certainly try. Are the rest of you thinking of entering? Totally. 
No way I would miss this chance again. I'm taking it seriously this year. I have a new car coming in to help me up my game. I'm not sure. Do you think I'd be good enough to enter this year? Definitely. It's a great motivator to improve your driving, too. How about you, Edward? Are you going to join us? Ah, I don't know. I don't think it's for me. I like driving, but things like that are too stressful. It's not fun. The Grand Prix takes place over multiple tracks, right? Why don't we all go on a road trip together and check out each one? Ugh. Why don't we all go on a road trip together to check each of them out? That way we can practice and still get to drive together. That's a great idea, Ada. I think we all get something from checking out the competition at the track. Two. Ugh, I just want to drive, guys. Not study lines and apexes and pedal techniques. Come on, Edward. How else are we going to be able to get on time to track together? It'll only be a chore if, if you make it one. Just think of it as an opportunity to drive in a bunch of new places with your friends. What more could you want? <laughs> Fine, I guess I'll, I could take along. I'm going to do my own thing, okay? It's settled then. Woo! Road trip! Oh, that's nice. That looks like an EK Civic. Civic. I don't know why I said it like that. An EK Civic. There goes Ada. Dakota Gecko. This is a Terra Dart Sport. It's Hype Dragon Performance. Man, these cars look absolutely cool. I can't get Viv's car. Oh, let's try Ada's. Ada Wong from Resident Evil 2. Yeah, so honestly, I really do like doing gaming videos, guys. I know these videos don't do so well on the channel. Okay, hold on. Let me read this real quick. There's so much to do before the Summer Grand Prix. I can't waste a second. This is going to be my time to shine. Where to start? How do I know what lines to take on this track? Well, Corey drives this course quite a lot. You could try following their ghost at first to try to get a feel for things. Do you think they'll be okay with that? Of course. We'll all learn from each other. It's how we improve as a group. Awesome. So I can do a ghost battle or I can practice. I'm going to practice. I want to learn how to do it. Because I don't think I'm very good at drifting. Oh my god. Whoa, the aesthetic this game is very vibrant. Oh. Wow. Like, this game just gives me a feeling that, like, I can't even... Oh my god, I can't even describe it. Ah! That was bad. This is a very unique feeling. This isn't like other uh, racing games where you drift, where it's like break to drift. It's, it's, it's a lot different. Ah, my god, I'm so bad at this game already. Thank god this is just a practice run. It's like the thumbstick, see, it's like this, this stick, even if it's meant for turning, it's not doing all that much. Ah, damn, I keep hitting the freaking wall a little bit. It's, it's not easy, this is not easy at all. So I was getting better. Oh my god. So I wonder if they're going to add more cars to this game because there's just... Obviously, like, there's two cars from the initial D uh, anime series, the FD and the Trueno E86. And this car kind of reminds me a little bit of the Mitsubishi Eclipse, like as the back of the Mitsubishi Eclipse, but also as the front as the 180 SX. So uh, it'll be very interesting to see where they uh, where they take this thing. I'm a I'm a sucker for arcade racer games. I love arcade racer games. I mean, they're not meant to be taken seriously, and this game has a really nice aesthetic. Um, this is made obviously by a smaller developer. Uh, it's not like a AAA rated video game that we're all used to. It's it's from a smaller, smaller, uh, smaller development studio. So obviously it's not perfect. For 20 bucks, what could go wrong for 20 bucks, right? I mean, you can't go wrong with with 20 dollars. I mean, we spend 60 dollars on brand new AAA title games, and usually most of them are cash grabs. I mean, 
we have all this microtransactions and then we have bugs and glitches. It's not a full game. I mean, what you're getting right here, it's a full game. There's no DLC. I mean, I hope, I hope there's DLC because um, I would want, I would want there to be DLC for this game because this game is looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I just hope to see more of this this game in the future or from this developer because these are obviously inspired by real life uh, drifting legends like the FD Trueno and, and much more that I can't name up right now. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is an interesting take on uh, the arcade racer. I mean, you're drifting, and right now I'm trying to to beat this this ghost. Nice, that looks smooth. Seems like you're taking the track on pretty easy, ain't it? I was just copying Corey's ghost. If you drift and turn in the same direction, you can carry more speed. I barely have to lift off. Ha! You sound exactly like me. That's the way I like to drive. You should try racing, Corey. That's much more exciting than just following a ghost around. Not sure I'm ready for that. Isn't there someone else's ghost I can study? You shouldn't worry so much. Practice is good, though. I can't fault you for that. I guess I could do a quick lap in your car for you to follow if that would help. You would? That would be great, Viv. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. So I got second place. Uh, let's try this one. Oh my god, I just passed my ghost. Awesome. Wow, Viv, you drive so differently to Corey. That twisty section at the top? That was so difficult before, but you barely turn on at all for it. It's not my best lap ever. I'm sure there's lots of more that could fail Debinita. What? It was crazy fast. Thanks for the help. You know, I think I'm confident enough to race Corey now. I'm glad you feel like it was useful. Remember though, if you want to win a race, you can't just copy the other racer. Yeah, that's true. Hey Corey, so I've been using your ghost time to learn the track. I was wondering if you would be up for a race. That's what Corey looks like? Hey, absolutely! There's usually no one else at my level around here to race. I've had to work things out for myself, but it's hard. So, it'll be great to race with someone else for a change. Alright, so that was Inertial Drift. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to smash that like button. It really does help me a lot. Comment down below what's your favorite initial D car. Mine is obviously the RX-7 FC, the Akagi's White Comet. This is one of the best, if not like the most creative arcade racers I've played on the PS4. I mean, there was another one. I, I forgot what it was called. But uh, there was another arcade racer on this that kind of gave me that similar vibe. But this just has a, a different vibe to it, like a different style. And, a, and I, I truly applaud it for what it is. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you all so much for watching that video. If you guys liked the video, please smash that like button, subscribe for more, and tell me what you thought about this video. Was it good? Was it bad? And I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.